Nothing screams hypocrisy more than government sanctioned gun control and war. The result is that big government is telling us that it knows better than its citizens regarding the use of force and access to various arms. Knowing who we have representing us in Congress, are you in agreement that they know best? We'll look at this hypocrisy in this episode of Analysis Behind the News, where we provide the perspective that you can use to help save American liberty and independence. Based on the deranged actions of a few, Congress and President Trump are under pressure to bend to the whims of gun control supporters to unconstitutionally limit your access to various arms. Yet, on the other hand, they announce that they are locked and loaded to police the Middle East in search of a fleeting enemy that has not attacked American citizens or American property. Saudi Arabia is a sovereign country, and it's also the country where the 9-11 terrorists were trained. Don't let your thinking be clouded due to the globalist mindset that we purchase petroleum from it. Saudi Arabia certainly knows the risks and can certainly handle itself accordingly. News headlines were screaming that oil prices were jumping up based on the news of the attack, which apparently crippled about 5% of the world production, which is about 50% of Saudi Arabia's output, according to USA Today. On Monday, President Trump tweeted that the U.S. doesn't need foreign oil due to increased American production. How long do you think that it would take American production to ramp up and fill in the void? The New American.com reported back in March that the U.S. would soon pass Saudi Arabia in oil export. In July, it reported that U.S. crude oil production had hit a record of 12 million barrels per day in April. The U.S. stands to export more than it imports by 2020 based on government reports. It was even suggested that the American strategic oil reserves be tapped into to make up the difference. Folks, it's not the job of the federal government to make up the difference. It should stand out of the way and let the producers in the free market take advantage of this opportunity. Further into these articles, it states that American gas prices may see a bump later in the week. U.S. crude oil was up by 9% as compared to nearly 20% in the global market as of Monday morning. These attacks are not a reason to get involved in geopolitical policies or to even spend one cent or shed a single drop of American blood over. Rather, they are an opportunity for American industry to show the global community that it indeed can take care of itself first and then help fill in the global gaps when needed. Government will only obstruct the industry's response and end up costing us much more in the long run. We would do very well in heeding the advice of our founders to avoid ent entangling alliances and to have honest, friendly relations. Sending troops, drones, or missiles into Iran or Yemen only plays into the hands of big government advocates. Again, Saudi Arabia is quite capable of defending itself especially with all the military equipment and arms that the U.S. has sold it. The U.S. is not the world's policeman, and our military must not be used as such. For if we do, we only justify the political agenda of building world government that globalists expect. And in regards to the hypocrisy of gun control that we mentioned at the beginning, giving the government the power to decide what you should own or who should own what types of firearms is a highly dangerous practice that has been utilized by every dictator. If citizens had kept their arms in the 20th century, the world would not have seen governments kill 100 million or more of their own people. Now, don't ever think that it can happen here, as those who have escaped such atrocities will tell you. Government has a purpose, and it has limitations. Key to all of this is your role in ensuring that the purpose and the limitations are kept in place. Now this week is Constitution Week. To crack open your Constitution or download a free one from us, 
to learn more about the purpose and the limitation. And then apply for membership in the John Birch Society today to get you on your way of working with like-minded patriots in your area to enforce the Constitution. Links are in the video description. And please, be sure to like and share this video as well as subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you then.